Hey friends, it's Father Peter Swore coming to you on this Thursday here on the 18th of June in 2020. And once again, we are touching base digitally and not in person. <clears throat> it's starting to feel a little old, isn't it, friends? And I wanted to just reflect with you a moment on some of what's going on here at St. Mark's, <clears throat> and then also on that piece of Psalm 86 that's located in this week's email. And here are a few of my thoughts. First thought, I am so grateful for you all. For nearly a hundred of you who have taken part in the survey, trying to figure out when we're going to reopen, it is a gift to hear back from you honestly about when you think you might be coming back to church, given the difficult realities of what worship will look like. And I am so grateful for you all as you have openly and honestly shared your opinions. And now Vestry has the opportunity to take what you've told us and to do everything we can to figure out how we can come together and worship God safely and in the stages that people feel the most comfortable. So do expect that we will be communicating some of that to you in the not so distant future. And, and it doesn't surprise me, but we're in a lot of different places. Some of us are <clears throat> ready to come back right away, despite all the restrictions that will be involved. Others want to wait until a vaccine has been developed and there's a sense of kind of normalcy that returns. Either way, Either way, we will, as the body of Christ, continue to figure out a way to move forward and to faithfully worship God and be the community of love and grace, which I already know you all are. And I'm thankful for that. And that, that brings me back to the psalm, which I mentioned earlier, Psalm 86, verses 1 through 5. And it starts with asking God to listen to us. It recognizes in the second part of that first verse, I'm poor. I'm in misery. Watch over my life. I put my trust in you. And, and, and I think in some ways, as we try to figure out all these details and how we safely come back, it can feel like we're kind of poor and in misery. And, and we really need the trust in God and in one another and in the scientific guidance of those who are informing the diocese. And then the, the psalm moves on and it talks about asking God, to gladden our hearts, gladden the soul of your servant. I lift up my soul to you, God. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, and great is your love towards all who call upon you. There's this sense of gratitude that comes forth, gratitude that we can faithfully love God and serve God, even when we can't all be together and we can't all worship in the same way that we always have in the past. And the psalm reminds us that that God is great in loving us. God is great in loving you and me. God's love knows no bounds. No matter where we find ourselves, no matter what stage we're coming back in, no matter where we are, God's love is great towards us. Thanks be to God. 